So welcome back to another episode and my fire alarm is going off in my building but I still want to do this episode. I will do this episode before the building goes on fire because today was the PlayStation experience uh, where Sony shows a lot of you know games that are being worked on, a lot of secrets, a lot of cool things and I just wanted to come in and talk about this experience because it's unbelievable. This was a really good conference. It, it had me going from the minute I, I started watching it till the end. This is how you kind of do it. Sony pulls off some really nice conferences uh, once in a while, except for the, like, the Ridge Racer one back in the day, but that's classic now. But um, first of all, let's just start off talking about some of the games. I can't mention everything, I'll just mention some highlight moments to me. Obviously, the first trailer was Uncharted The Lost Legacy, and this was interesting because I was watching it at first and I'm like, who is this character? What is going on here? This is by Naughty Dog? And I didn't clue in that it was Uncharted at first. I didn't have a clue. Because uh, the character's kind of like in a robes and uh, going around the city. And it just it made me think of Metal Gear for some reason. But all of a sudden, you know, obviously the characters are revealed to be Nadine and Chloe. Now, it's unknown at this point if this is DLC or if this is its own standalone game. But it looks very interesting. Now, they showed Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And there's been a lot of rumors about this. So this you know, is it going to be shown today? Is it going to be shown tomorrow? There's a trailer. It's bullshit. It's real. I was starting to believe that it was totally made up. Up, but they did show it and they showed Mega Man which is always great to see and also Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is downloadable today. They showed Wipeout and I was like oh my god it's gonna be a brand new Wipeout game and it's remasters of the original games which is not a bad thing. Wipeout is a great series. Now this is one I know a lot of people talk and they, they, they don't like remasters and I do like remasters especially of old nostalgic games and Crash Bandicoot is an old nostalgic game that is getting a remaster and it looks like they've done a really good job capturing the, re the original and I was happy to see this, I was not unhappy. And speaking of remasters, Parappa the Rapper, a series that I really thought Sony had forgotten about, 20th anniversary edition is coming out, another remaster but I'm so happy that, I know, it's so funny, I just was so happy to see Parappa the Rapper just make it onto the screen again. I'm like, oh god, you know, it reminds me of really cool days on the PlayStation 1. They show Gran Turismo Sport, obviously with VR compatibility. The one that's really exciting to me is the Resident Evil 7. This is the final demo, the band demo, and it's getting released tonight for PlayStation 4, Pro, and VR. So it will be fully playable in VR tonight, this is the final demo. I'm super stoked. I can't wait to try it out in VR. I haven't I haven't played it in VR yet. I've only ever played the kitchen demo. And that's cool, but you're in one place, so it'll be kind of interesting to see what it's like. They showed the Nino Kuni 2 trailer, which is not a, you know, this isn't a surprise. We've already seen a trailer before, but great to see the series again. It's a really fantastic RPG by level 5, beautiful looking graphics, like a Ghibli film. They showed a trailer for Ace Combat 7. Now, I've been waiting for this. I am a huge fan of, of Ace Combat, especially the older one, <laughs> Electrosphere. That was my favorite of all time. Love that game. And this new number seven has VR compatibility, so you can play it in VR. I don't even know if I'll be able to mentally handle that. Okay, this is totally crazy. I I filmed, uh, you know, a Let's Play Again with Kim about five or six months ago about wind jammers. It's uh, on the Neo Geo and I never released the episode. I always kept it on private. I just never I thought, nah, the timing's not right and time went on and I never ever released it. Call me surprised today when I see that they're bringing out wind jammers, the original Neo Geo game, again for PS4. And Mark of the Wolves is supposed to be released tonight. I've got to double check on that information because if it is, it's like, Oh my god, this is going to be unbelievable. And yes, there's a reason why I'm wearing my East shirt today. This is a, a very, very good day indeed for East fans because East Origin is coming to PlayStation 4 and Vita this February. I was like, what? This is happening? My Twitter feed erupted. I mean, I was like, I have to make a video about this no matter what. So I'm like, I might as well do the entire experience of this Sony conference. Now, they showed a lot of VR games, obviously. A lot of them we have seen before. Some of them they just kind of showed. We don't really know what they are at this point. But I must say, I was a little disappointed because I really wanted to say, I was saying to Kim, I'm like, Oh, come on, they need an RPG. They need like a, a an anime style RPG on PlayStation VR. And I was like, 
oh, there's nothing. It's like, there was kind of action adventure kind of uh, you know, games in there, but nothing like I was kind of looking for the sword and all that. But yeah, more of a true role playing game. Now, last but certainly not least, was a megaton. Yeah, I'm gonna use an old gaff terminology. A megaton, it really was a megaton too. Because I was gonna mention this at the beginning, but it happened at the end of the conference. They're like, oh, here's this final trailer for you guys. And it starts off in a forest and I'm like, and I knew like in like 10 seconds, I'm like, I know what this is. I'm like, Kim, get in here. She ran in, cause she's playing Dragon Quest Seven in the other room, just the end of the game. And, oh my God. Uh, this was unreal. The Last of Us 2. The Last of Us 2 was finally announced and Joel and Ellie are back and it's just so wonderful to see. I I kept wondering when is this game going to be announced? When are they going to show it? When are they going to show it? And they said it's very early in development. But whoa, I mean, even Kim was saying to me, she's like, oh my gosh, she's like, I got shivers. Like, look at the characters and the characters, mo the models and the textures were, I mean, I they were unbelievable I like, couldn't believe it and I was just like wow we're coming back to this and it was great to see the characters again and and yeah Ellie looked pissed man that's all I'll say she looked like super pissed so it looks like a bit of a revenge story going on here in a sense of the way against the you know the evils of, that have happened to humanity in this world and I love The Last of Us I played the original then I played you know the remastered version and it's just phenomenal so to be able to play this I I don't know, maybe late 2017, maybe that's still early. This is just a, you know, a preliminary trailer, but this trailer blew me away. Like all, the conference was good, but this just cemented. And it was just like, wow, this is unreal. So what did you guys think of the PlayStation experience today? I, I was really impressed. There was a lot of amazing games and that's what I want to see these things. I don't want to see anything about how anything connects to my TV or anything like that. I just want to see game, 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 game. And that's what we got. And it was really awesome. I'm so happy that it was so good. So anyways, guys, until next time. Oh my God. As soon as I finish, the fire alarm stops. I'm not going to die. Ugh.